What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of Ronan the Accuser from Marvel. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle on the top of our page. I'm going to sketch with a flat edge. Starting from the very top, we're just going to lightly work our way around the left side. Coming in towards the middle. Then we'll go all the way around the right side. Now with our circle in place, we're going to start adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's we'll start from the very top of the middle, sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll add another guideline on the side of our circle. Start with the left coming down. And then do the same thing on the right. Now you want to place the eyes along the bottom of our circle. So from the bottom, we're going to step up, sketch a line going across towards the left and then the right side. Now you're going to leave a gap in between the eyes and add two more guidelines. We're going to step over towards the left, sketch one line coming down, and do the same thing on the right. Let's block in the outside of the eyelid. From this point, we're going to step down, curve the eye going up and then out towards the top line. And then we'll go to the outside of our circle, curve the eye coming down, and then in. And then we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting over on the left, draw a half circle, coming down, and then up. Let's go back to the center, step down, just mark off the bottom edge of the nose with a straight line. And then from the center, we sketch a circle for the tip of the nose. From the bottom of the nose, draw two straight angle lines going up and out across the nostrils. And we'll connect the ends with a curve going up and then back down. Let's leave a gap underneath the nose, step down and draw the mouth going straight out towards the left and right side. And then to mark off the corners of the mouth, we're going to line up at the center of the eye, sketch a line coming down, and do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll connect the ends with a curve going up towards the top lip, and then back down. Let's draw the outside edge of the head. Right where this eye line meets the circle, we're going to step out, sketch a straight angle line coming down, and then in. And do the same thing on the right, stepping out, and goes down and in towards that bottom line. Let's go all the way down towards the bottom, sketch a line going across the chin. And then from the jaw, angle this down and then in. Let's go back to the center of our circle, step up and sketch a line going all the way across from left to right. And then from the side of the head, we're going to curve the hood going up and then bend that in towards that line. Let's go back to the side of the temples, curve the hood coming down and then bending that out toward the left and right side. Now we're going to go back up to this top line, curve the outside coming down and bending that out. Let's go back to the bottom corners of the chin, step up and draw two lines. One going out towards the left, and then we'll line this up on the right, angle this up and out towards that outside corner. And then from here, it's going to slope the shoulders going up and in behind the head. Now you want to go back and erase some of these guidelines. Start with that center line, and then the bottom of that circle. Now that we have our clean drawing, let's go back and add a second level of detail. Let's add that marking across the face. Starting in between the eyes, right in the middle, angle this down and out toward the left, and then the right side.
from the bottom and goes down and in towards the corners of the mouth. Now on the left side of this eye line, curves in and then down, and then draw a straight angle line coming down towards the left side of the chin. Let's go over towards the right side. We're going to bring this lower, coming in and then down towards the jaw. And then angle is down and in. Let's add a curve in between the brow, starting on top of the left eye, and bend this down and then back up on the right. Now on either side, we're going to add a seam, going up and then out toward the left and then the right. Let's round out the top. From this point, we're going to step down, curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right. And I'll erase those top corners. Now let's add a thick trimmer on the inside of the hood. From this point, we'll step up, just follow that curve going up and across. And we'll follow this curve going around, down, and then out towards the side. From the top corners of that trim, draw a straight angle line going up and out. Step down and draw that again. And it will block in that scale pattern across the side of the head. From this line, step down, add one line, I'm just going to repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the inside of the left eye. Start with that curve going up and out. Now we want to readjust the shape as we go. And then do the same thing over on the right. Trace the outside of the iris, going up underneath the eyelid. Add a smaller circle in the center. Then a small highlight circle on the right side of the pupil. And it'll fill the outside, going around that highlight. Let's go back and darken up the top of the iris, and then we'll fade that across the bottom. I'm just going to add a shadow underneath the brow. Just pulling that in towards the nose bridge. And darken up the bottom of the eye. Starting with the outside. Let's add a light shadow along the top of the eyes. And then from here we're going to move down and start detailing out the nose. Starting with the bottom edge. 
It's flaring out the nostrils. I'm going to add a shadow line coming down the side of the nose bridge towards the tip of the nose on the side. And we'll add some shadows. I'm just going to cast a shadow across the top of the mouth and then we'll darken up that divot in the center. Trace up the lower lip. And we'll darken that up. And we'll add some texture going across with the tip of our pencil. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and just trace out the inside edge of the hood. Again, just adding a little bit more shape as we go. Once we've drawn in the inside edge of the hood, we're going to go back and refine the shape of the head. Coming in towards the jaw. Just adding a trim around the corners of the eye, coming down to the side of the head, and then we will refine that trim going up towards the top. And work our way around the outside of the head. I'm just going to round out each of these sections 
and then just bend that in towards the trim. the same thing on the right. I'm going to go back and darken up the outside edge of the head and behind the hood. And we'll start layering in our tones using the side edge of our pencil. Just going to darken up the top of the head along the sides. And then the hood's going to cast a dark shadow along the outside edge. So it's going to darken this up and then fade that out as we come in. So we cast that shadow from the top coming down. I want to create a little bit of a highlight across that center panel. So we'll start with a medium shade. And then we'll darken up the outside and then fade that in. I'm just going to cast that shadow across the top and blend that out. Darken up that shadow across the top of the eyes and fade that up. We'll also go across the middle and then darken up the brow. Now before we add in those facial markings, we're gonna add a shadow across the side of the head, coming down towards the chin, and then we'll fade that up. Also adding that shadow across the bottom of the chin. Now using the side edge of pencil, we're gonna go back and add that cracked edge around that trim. Just working our way down towards the corner of the mouth. And down towards the chin on the left side. And then we'll work in the right side. And 
I'm going back to the center, I'm just going to work my way along the inside. And then we'll go back and just darken up that inside area. Go a little bit heavier in the center. and then going around the lower lip. I'm also going to add a little bit of a highlight on the right side of the chin. So start with a light shade and then blend that out. Shade in the shoulder area. I'm going to add a dark shadow across the top of the shoulder, coming from the head, and then just fading that out. Now I'm going to go back and add a light shade to the rest of the head. across the body. And we'll continue to add some shadows and detail around the body. Starting with a dark edge on the outside of the suit. And we'll go back to the trim and work our way out.
Now at the top of the head, we're just going to shade in the bottom area and then add a highlight along the top. Start to blend this out. I'm going to add some sections to the side panels. These curves starting with the inside, working our way down towards the bottom. Add another section on the outside. We're going to darken up the inside and then fade this out towards the side to create a little bit of a highlight glare. Now as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'm going to tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Ronan. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.